Alright. Back to this nonsense. La 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 la. Aww, look at all these things that I can't have. This way, the other way. Do, do, do. I'm trying to watch my map so I can kind of figure out what I'm doing. See this giant shining area right here. Since it's mountaintop. Might as well. Kitty doesn't want me to defile ashes. Kitty says that sounds like a bad idea. I'll just go to sleep. Then you see this thing over here. You have a sleeping dragon somewhere up here, you know, just chilling, not bothering anyone. And then I have a gong. I'm gonna save because I know I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> So we're gonna save right quick, and then I'm gonna wake up the kitty. Hi, hi, kitty. You're a hydra. Let's get started. a bad idea, and I'm so glad I didn't do it the first time because it's like, destroyed me. off the dragon this time. I couldn't have been at much higher of a level the other time. <laughs> Got completely owned by that dragon. <laughs> oh yeah, that's probably why you don't do this one first. But I think it worked better that way this the last time I did it. So we don't wake up the dragon. And we just go to the temple. 
think we can wake up a dragon later, as you can come back this way. First, I'm pretty sure you can come back the whole way. So I still need that achievement for dragon slaying or whatever. But this part I don't think is very hard. I think I just have to answer a bunch of questions and then do some stupid riddle things. Which I think I remember how to do. I'm not sure. Let's see. Holy ground, I can feel it. They're both really excited. Alistair is too, he just won't admit it. Ah. I bid you welcome, Milgram. <laughs> yes, I like his helmet. I am the guardian of the ashes. I have waited years for this. It has been my duty, my life, to protect the urn and prepare the way for the faithful. Come to revere Andraste. For years beyond counting have I been here. And shall I remain until my task is done and the Imperium has crumbled into the sea? Is it not? Then perhaps this is the beginning of the end. When my brethren and I carried Andraste from Tevinta to this sanctuary, we vowed to forever revere her memory and guard her. Centuries they did this, unwavering, joyful in their appointed task. But now they have lost their way. They have forgotten Andraste and their promise. No, our Andraste has gone to the Maker's side. She will not return. The dragon is a fearsome creature, and they must have seen her as an alternative to the absent Maker and his silent Andraste. A true believer would not require audacious displays of power. You already know that the urn contains the remains of the prophet Andraste. What else is there to tell? When my brethren and I carried Andraste from Tevinta oh, to this that. sanctuary, we vowed to Should forever be revere attention. her memory and guard her. I have watched generations of my brethren take up the mantle of their fathers. For centuries they did this, unwavering, joyful. But now they have lost their way. They have forgotten Andraste and their promise. They have forgotten that Andraste was just a messenger. They speak no more of the Maker, only of their false Andraste, an even greater sin. You have come to honor Andraste, and you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. Then you will not come to the ashes. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... Be 
Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. By the time you reached Chiani, she was broken, brutalized. You were too late. Tell me, Pilgrim, did you fail Shiani? Then you do not dwell on past mistakes, neither yours nor someone else's. It's easy for others to judge what you've done in hindsight, but it doesn't make it any better. What's past is past. Why bring it up and open all wounds? It seems that reflection on past mistakes is a constant preoccupation of the religious mind. You are too hard on yourself. No one's perfect. You could not have known what would happen. You did what you thought was best. And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died and not him. I... yes. If Duncan had been saved and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... And you... Why do you say the Maker speaks to you, when all know that the Maker has left? He spoke only to Andraste. Do you believe yourself her equal? I never said that. I... In Orlais, you were someone. In Lothering, you feared you would lose yourself, become a drab sister, and disappear. When your brothers and sisters of the Cloister criticized you for what you professed, you were hurt, but you also reveled in it. It made you special. You enjoyed the attention, even if it was negative. You're saying that I made it up for... for the attention? I did not. I know what I believe. Shale, the stone giant. There is so little I can draw from you. I feel the distant echo of a soul, dormant for so long. Now, awake. Good for you. <laughs> and with the awakening, the slow realization <laughs> of all you have lost. Oh, that was great. Shell's ah, like, what shame. the fuck ever? Your entire existence is a test of your will and courage. You have my respect. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. Can I get this book now? Book. Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life, and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? Damn what it. Is not of what I speak. <laughs> uh, I got him already. <laughs> Let's get started. Alright. That piss everything else off now? They're still happy. Alright. 
An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders. That all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own, where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed, and so were we. The bones of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? Yes. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tevinter into the mountains to the east, where she could gaze ever into her maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. A poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Yes, jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamoi. But beside her, I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, as did the Maker. I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? I got all these ones right, so I just have like two more. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword, comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Teventer Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. Their crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done, and knew the Maker smiled on us. She wields the broken sword, and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Yes, I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner, who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. test and um I think they're four I'm not sure so I might might end it in the middle of this one if it's not some crazy ass battle. Hey ha <laughs> that's how you greet an old friend, huh? Life out there's been good to you, hasn't it? You're respected even among humans. Do you remember us? Where you came from? 
and what some of us still face every day? You don't even feel much anymore when you remember it, do you? You've moved on, past the horror of that night. I envy you. You've gone on to other things, things I can only dream of. You have a great task to complete. I want you to take this. I think you should have it. Seeing you now gives me hope. For all of us. Oh. Yeah, I remember. The next one's the Dark Blink type deal, where everybody has their own little demon thing to face. It shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Enemies approaching. Shadow us. As you wish. Let's get started. Then. Quickly. Let's get started. Right. You Only one. Defend yourself. You will wish to find me. thing <laughs> this looks fun I bet we'll have to work together and join hands and sing a happy song to get across I can't remember the way that this worked That's it! That's an actual bridge piece right there. If we can get all the bridge pieces to be solid, we can make it across. I don't think it goes anywhere. But, um... Yeah, this thing took forever the last time. <laughs> 